This is the first time that I decided that I wanted to take part in the Gymshark 66 challenge. I kind of caught on at the end of it last year and it was like too late to take part. So this year I made sure that I was in and took part. So at first it was great, it was fantastic. The community that I found um, through Twitter, through Instagram was wonderful like using the hashtag I found people who would motivate me who would empower me people found me through the hashtag and you know joined my community I really felt like I'd gained a sense of community throughout the challenge I felt motivated because I knew that there was people that were you know doing the challenge the same as me and it's like we were all in together and it was fantastic and I was like why can't things like this happen every day we're all in it together and we just have this beautiful community and that is kind of what i want for my social media in the long term during the end of january um through to a few weeks ago not even the end of january probably about two or three weeks into the challenge um my personal circumstances changed we had illness and an bereavement in the family and it was just so tough and to be honest my mind just was not on the challenge like at first i was kind of like right you know what i'm gonna go to the gym i'm just gonna de-stress and you know at first that was working great for me and it was great but in the end i just found that i was emotionally <laughs> and physically exhausted i stopped sleeping my appetite went i wasn't eating very much I suffered a heartbreak and everything all together I found became a little bit too much for me during the challenge so unfortunately I had to drop out of it which is really annoying because I really really wanted at this point to have lots and lots of great footage for you guys of me throughout the challenge but yeah so unfortunately I had to withdraw from the challenge which I was really really sad about I just wasn't in the right place for it at all sorry <laughs> trying to set my bikini off <laughs> but yeah I just wasn't in the right place for it at all but if anything this challenge has taught me that you know sometimes it's okay to take a break because you have to do what's best for yourself and knowing what's best for yourself is knowing when to stop and knowing when to take a rest and knowing when to pick yourself back up again and go for it and that's kind of where I feel that I'm getting to now I'm getting back to that picking myself up and getting back on it which is why I'm back making videos because I'm like you know life doesn't stop because you're upset life doesn't stop because you know things bad things happen every day and I think now it's time to turn that pain into power to be honest with you because I feel like I've had my time to just grieve and with heartbreak I've had my time to just and now I'm ready to just grab life by the balls again and get on with shit because <laughs> life is short guys like life is so short like I didn't even realize how short life was until I you know went through a bereavement and it just made me like do you know what I'm gonna put myself out there I'm gonna be honest about my feelings about certain things or certain people I'm going to put myself out there and go to events that I probably wouldn't go to because I didn't have the confidence to go by myself. Went to London um, the other day, got on the train by myself, got on the tube by myself and these might sound like such small things um, to you guys but honestly for me, the way how my anxiety was set up in the past, that was like absolutely not going to happen. Like I would much rather drive down to London um, for three hours, you know, including traffic and stuff, um, then get on the train and that is just how it was. But I feel proud of myself that I've done it now and I feel like I could do it again. Although I probably will drive the next time because it will be on a weekend, just because of the comfort of my car. But I know that I can do it and that's one of the things that I've learned about myself during this challenge. Um, another thing that I've learned throughout this challenge is something about strength so when people talk about oh what's the worst that can happen I'm just gonna go through it well I just want to say there was a time when 
I was so guarded about how I felt about my emotions and never used to express certain emotions because I had suffered a loss I just thought you know what it's time to grab life by the balls and just go for it and just admit how you feel about things and stuff like that and imagine thinking what's the worst that could happen and then the worst that could happen happened like my god like usually when I say oh what's the worst that can happen nothing bad happens but to me the worst thing that possibly could happen happened and I'm still in disbelief to this day like sometimes I'm like yo I know God has a plan but what is your plan for me because <laughs> You know, no, I shouldn't even joke about that, but I, I just could not comprehend what was going on. However, what it has taught me is, yeah, the worst that I possibly could have imagined happened, but I'm still here, I'm surviving. Yes, I moped for a bit, I disappeared for a bit, I licked my wounds for a while. You know, I read some books, I wrote a lot of blog posts that, you know, I haven't published. I wrote a lot of letters about how I feel about things that I haven't said but I'm just keeping them because I just needed to express the emotion I probably will burn them to be honest but I feel like in the end it has made me a stronger person and I feel like I'm more willing to accept challenges now because I think to myself what's the worst that can happen well for the fact that the worst that can happen has happened and I'm here I'm surviving I got through it I'm, I'm getting to the other side now so any, if there's anything I want you to take from this video, you can do it. Um, and yeah, sometimes it's good to have what's the worst that can happen mentality because if I can get through it, you can get through it. So I think for me, that's one of the biggest things that I found throughout the Gymshark 66 challenge. So to round off, yes, I started the challenge. I really enjoyed it. I went through some shit, but I got through it and I'm ready to grab life by the balls again so you'll be seeing a lot more of me very soon so thank you guys so much for sticking around and to you guys who did complete the gym charts and Statistics challenge I just want to say well done and congratulations you rock you literally rock and I'll be with you next year but I think for now I'm just gonna set myself a personal challenge and continue on with that and um, keep you guys updated along the way so I guess my personal challenge is just to be more open about how I feel about things and not suppress certain emotions because it's not done me well in the past so I'm just gonna be honest uh, and another thing is literally to work on my health and fitness not from an aesthetic perspective which is kind of like sometimes where I've been coming from before be like oh my god my now it's more about being healthy looking at what I'm putting into my body because <sighs> some illnesses just happen and some illnesses are preventable and if there's an illness that I can prevent by being a little bit healthier I'm gonna try and do it so yeah I'm really gonna be looking at what I put in my body and trying to keep moving in different ways so before it was literally just I like to go to the gym and I like to lift weights but now I'm a bit more like do you know what I really should do some cardio not to lose fat I mean it is an added benefit and if that happens it happens but um you know for my heart for my heart health and I want to concentrate on things like that so yes sorry this video has been a little bit of a ramble <laughs> but yeah I just want to say see you guys in the next video if you liked this it a thumbs up if you did the gym shark challenge give it a thumbs up if you do the gym shark challenge next year give it a thumbs up if you are doing a personal challenge give it a thumbs up <laughs> and i will see you guys in the comments and if not i'll see you guys in the next video bye